In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating macOS 10.14 Mojave running on an unsupported machine. Now in this video, I'm going to be running Mojave on quite a few unsupported machines. Um, I'm going to, go, going to go ahead and start off here uh, with a mid-2010 Apple MacBook Pro. Um, now this machine uh, was natively supported in High Sierra, but was dropped with the release of Mojave. Um, Mojave uh, officially requires a mid-2012 or later uh, MacBook Pro uh, or MacBook Air. Um, and uh, yeah, anything older than that uh, will not run uh, Mojave natively. Now, at, at this point, Mojave will not run well on all machines, but it will run well on most machines. And the reason that it will not run well on some machines is because at this point, um, Ex graphics acceleration using AMD video cards um, has not been figured out yet. However, graphics acceleration with NVIDIA cards and um, Intel HD graphics, integrated graphics cards, works almost perfectly fine. Now, um, the minimum GPU requirement, uh, the official minimum GPU requirement for Mojave is a GPU that supports metal. Now, of course, these older machines that were uh, dropped with the release of Mojave um, don't have metal supported graphics cards um, which is why uh, graphics acceleration uh, is a bit of an issue at this point on some systems. So with that I'm going to go ahead and boot up this mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro here and uh, show you how well it runs on the system. So let's go ahead and power it on. Alright, and as you can see, the machine has powered up here. So let's go ahead and boot off of the Mojave SSD. Now, of course, this is an SSD, so it should boot up relatively quickly. Let's go ahead and give it a minute here. And there we go, we are now in Mojave. So let me go ahead and uh, enter the password here. Get that logging in. And there it is, there's Mojave. So um, let me go ahead into about this Mac here. We can take a quick look at the system. Um, so you can see that this, of course, is a mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro, as I said before. Um, this particular machine has the 2.66 GHz um, Arendelle Intel Core i7 and is currently running off the Intel HD graphics. Now, um, if I go ahead and go into System Preferences here and disable automatic graphics switching, you can see that it now is running off of the NVIDIA graphics card. So we go ahead into About This Mac here again. Um, you can see that it is running off the NVIDIA GeForce GT330M. Um, and of course it shows the Intel HD graphics there as well because um, this has a uh, dual graphics card installed. So yeah, as you can see the animations are perfectly smooth. Everything runs perfectly well and works seemingly perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and open up Safari here. You can see um, that that translucent effect worked. Now there is one glitch uh, with the graphics acceleration on these uh, non-metal cards, which I'll show you in a second, and you may already be able to tell what it is. Um, but if you look up here at the menu bar, you can see um, that it looks a little bit different than it would on a supported uh, metal graphics card. Now if I go ahead and uh, head on over to System Preferences again, go to General here, and change it to the light theme. Um, yeah, you will see another issue with the menu bar. So you can see that the menu bar is like a darkish gray color. Um, and that is simply because um, for some reason um, the uh, system cannot render uh, the frosted uh, translucent effect uh, in the light theme of the operating system uh, for the menu bar. Now, of course, that is a glitch um, with the... Uh, drivers taken from 10.13 because of course they were removed in um, 10.14 um, but if we open a finder window here you can also see that that same uh, translucent uh, frosted translucent effect is not rendered correctly here either but 
if you put it in the dark mode, everything looks a lot better, um, and even the translucent effect over here works as well. So, yeah, and I'm not sure why the icons went away, but um, nonetheless, it works pretty much perfectly fine, except for that minor uh, UI glitch with the menu bar and finder sidebar, which is no big deal, really. So, um, that has been Mojave running on this mid-2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put the SSD in this machine, which is a mid-2009 17-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Now, this machine is different because this one was actually dropped uh, with the release of Sierra. So, this hasn't been officially supported uh, since version 10.11 L Capitan. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this machine down, put the SSD in the 17-inch system there, and boot it up and show you that it works on there as well. Alright, so as you can see, I've gotten the 17-inch mid-2009 MacBook Pro ready to go. So let's go ahead and power it on. Alright, so there's our Mojave hard disk. Let's go ahead and boot off it. And like before, since it is running off an SSD, it should be relatively quick to boot. Alright, and there we are in the OS once again. Let's go ahead and log in. And there we go. So as you can see, graphics acceleration is working perfectly um, on this machine as well. Um, this one, of course, has an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M, um, but it also has an NVIDIA GeForce 9600M GT. Um, so I can actually switch to that and uh, show you that that works as well. But um, yeah, as you can see, Mojave is running on the system. Um, of course, we can go into system preferences here uh, here and then you can see that you know that same dark grayish mini bar effect is still present even on uh, the 9400M but um, unfortunately I don't think that will be able to be resolved um, on any machine but you know it's a small glitch to deal with just to run uh, Mojave on an unsupported machine because everything else um, seems to work just fine um, so go ahead and switch it back to the dark mode here since it looks quite a bit nicer um, and another thing that works on here are the uh, new macOS slash iOS ported apps. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Stocks here, and I can show you that that works on these unsupported systems. Even though they don't have a metal compatible graphics card. So, as you can see, we've got the Stocks app open. Um, you can see also that the full translucency effect um, over there works as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, this system these unsupported machines seems to run uh, Mojave perfectly fine. Um, so now let me go ahead and uh, switch the video card to the dedicated 9600M GT. Um, so we can do that by going in here, selecting higher performance, logging out, and uh, once we log back in, we should be on the 9600M GT. Give it a minute here, sometimes it can take a while. Alright, so unfortunately it appears that uh, it will not actually switch graphics cards uh, using Mojave on this system. So um, I'm not sure what's up with that, uh, but basically it would just hang in a black screen, so I rebooted it, and it's still on the 9400M GT, or the 9400M. Um, and I also tried uh, GFX card status here, and uh, I do switch GPUs, it just doesn't do anything. So. Um, Unfortunately, it appears that GPU switching does not actually work um, on these systems under Mojave anymore, but um, I'm assuming you could just boot into another OS, switch it there, and then it would work just fine in Mojave. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it is a little bit glitchy at this point, um, but it is fully usable as it is right now, and um, yeah, you can definitely run it on your system. So um, let me go ahead and shut this machine down, and uh, then I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, the uh, Mojave running on one last machine 
and uh, this will be actually the oldest machine uh, that Mojave will be able to run on. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out, um, and then we'll go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see here, I've gotten Mojave booted on a MacBook Pro 4,1, which is an early 2008 15-inch MacBook Pro. Um, so we can go ahead and take a look at about this Mac here. And you can see that on this machine as well, Mojave runs just fine. So the trackpad works with the uh, multi-touch gestures. Go into the launch pad. Everything's nice and smooth. Um, and the system runs just fine. Now the only issue with these machines is, as with Sierra and High Sierra, um, the Wi-Fi module is not supported. Um, but, you know, this can always be solved by uh, opening up the machine and replacing the Wi-Fi card, which is like right here, um, with one that actually is supported. And uh, then you'll have a fully functional system. So, that has been the demonstration of macOS Mojave running on various unsupported machines. Now, if you would like to try this on your own machine, I do have a patcher tool available um, that will allow you to install on all of these unsupported machines and uh, any other unsupported machine. Um, like I said though, um, on machines with AMD video cards, uh, you won't have full graphics acceleration, um, which means that you know you won't be able to, uh, you know, everything will be pretty laggy. You won't be able to put the machine in sleep mode. Um, none of the transparency effects will work. Um, and stuff like that. But if you have a machine that has Intel HD graphics or an NVIDIA graphics card or both, um, but not an AMD graphics card, um, you will have pretty much no issues running uh, Mojave on your system. So um, I will put a link to that in the description. And of course, since Mojave is a beta at this point, it is not recommended that you run it as your main OS. Um, but I haven't really found any issues with it, even on these unsupported machines. Uh, other than the ones I've already showed you. So, um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, uh, the system seems to run just fine under Mojave. So, with that, uh, that is Mojave running on unsupported machines. Hope you enjoyed this video.